Hello everyone, my name is Prashant and the topic for the today's video is Python OS module. So without wasting any time, let's get started and try to understand Python OS module in simple language. So this presentation is a result of uh, my blog, uh, this one, Python OS module. So I will share the link in the bottom of this video description. Okay. So the first question is, what is Python OS module? So before going to that definition, uh, let me tell you a short story about how I came to know about this module. Okay. So I was working on one Python script where I need to execute some operating system command. So with operating system command means, so let's say, let's start with a heading called Python OS module. So in the past I was working on one script and my task is to use Python to execute some operating system command. Let's say the operating system command is ls l. So I was looking for some Python module through which I can execute this command. And while doing a Google search, I came to know about this OS module which I think is not a right decision because later on I came uh, to find it out that there are some other module, for example, a sub process module through which I can do this work better. But uh, I'm going to discuss about the sub process module in the next video. So stay tuned. So first thing is, let's start exploring this Python OS module. And let me talk about that project first. And then we will start with some other uh, functionality provided by this OS module. So first thing, if you want to use the OS module, uh, in case of Python, you need to do import, right? Now, the first thing is to get a list of all the attributes and methods supported by this object. We are going to run dir OS. So as you can see, this module support lot of uh, attributes and methods. So we are going to explore each of these one by one. And to get more information or to get help about the OS module, you can either do help OS, okay? Or you can go to their official documentation, which is Python OS module. And this one, okay? So this is the documentation about the OS module, but if you want to get some help on the command line, you need to run a command called help and the name of the module. Okay. Now, uh, let me give you the idea how to execute any of the Linux command or the operating system command using a OS module. And just to reiterate that because I'm using the word Linux so often, OS module is not restricted to uh, to uh, Linux. You can use OS module even in the case of Windows. So first thing is in order to execute an operating system command, you need to use os.system and then the command. For example, ls -l. Okay. So you will going to get the output. This is similar to what the output of the ls l command. And the extra thing is in the bottom, you will see something zero, right? And zero is the exit code. Okay. So, you know, in case of a, a Linux, each and every command return an exit code. If the exit code is zero, that means the command is executed successfully. And if the exit code is non-zero, that means the command fail due to some reasons. Okay. So now the second thing we will do and ls -l is one command. You can run any operating system commands. For example, I will run clear. Okay. This will clear your terminal or I can use a command like pwd. Okay. Now let's do one thing. Let's save the output of this ls -l command to a variable called x. So as you can see, the difference between this command and the command we executed earlier is that it still gave me the output of ls l command, but the exit code. So let me run this command again. 
the exit code which came earlier that exit code is now missing okay so now let's try to print the value of x and it is zero okay so that means this is one of the major drawback of using a os command os.system that it does not store the output of your command it only store the exit code and in next video i'm going to show you how to overcome this limitation by using a module called subprocess which store the exit code the error all those information for you okay so enough about os.system let's talk about the other functionality provided by the os command okay so in linux you know a command called uh, pwd and we just ran that command using os.system right os.system pwd to get the current working directory right if you want to use the os module functionality to execute this command you can use something called os.get cwd the output is same right and you will see that like this right to get cwd to change uh, to get the current working directory okay in order to change a directory you need to run the command called chdir okay if i again run the get cwd command now my home uh, my current working directory is changed to slash tmp to change the directory back to my original directory i will again execute the command this one okay now in the earlier example we have seen using os dot system we have run execute this command ls hyphen l right in if you want to do the same thing using one of the python method right rather than relying on operating system so you can use the command called method called list dir and this will give you the output in the form of a list okay you can always iterate over this list for example for i in os dot list dir print the value of i okay you will always got the similar sort of output we can further refine it that i'm going to show you it later but i'm just giving you the idea that using the os.list dir you can list out all the directory okay by default if you do not give any path to this os.list dir it will take the current directory as a path okay but if you want to change that so for example i want to list out all the content of etc so i can pass etc as a path to this command to this method okay and now we have seen the functionality called like for example os dot change dir ch dir to change the directory okay os dot list dir or okay we have started with i think os dot get os dot system dot system to execute the system command then os dot get cwd to get the current working directory os dot ch dir to change the directory os dot list dir to list the content of the directory right and we can also specify the path if we are looking for some specific path to list the content of a specific path okay and now let's switch gear and look at the functionality for example if i want to create a file using os module so i can do with the help of something called an os mk nod and test file via os module just to differentiate that i am giving this long name and now i can again run the command os dot list dir okay and you will see somewhere this file right 
Similarly, if you want to create a directory, in case of a Linux, we have a command called mkdir. Similarly, we have this. So test dir os. Okay. Again, if we list the dir, you will see this test dir os somewhere. Dir os. Okay. Now, if you want to create a directory recursively, right? which I mean mkdir, let me uh, create a directory called test1 and inside it test2 and these direct, none of these directory exist. So earlier we tried to create one directory, now we have, we, I need to create this directory and inside it recursively I want to create one more directory called test2. So for that the command is, uh, let's try to execute this command os.mkdir and you will see that it is going to throw an exception, which is file not found error. So in that, in this case, if you want to create directory recursively, you need to use a command called os dot make does. Okay. OS dot list dir. And here somewhere you will see test one. OST somewhere, right? Require local Wow, this is weird. Let me go here and let me do home Prashant. And here I will see test one, right? And if you do this, test one, you will see the other directory inside it called test two. Okay. Similarly, in a case of a Linux, we have a command called environment to list the environment variables, right? All these environment variables. So without any surprise, in case of OS, we have environment similar output and if we are looking for any specific value let me decrease the font size so let's say I'm looking for uh, anything I can look for right let's say I'm looking for some particular environment variable like this guy it doesn't matter. Let's say this one, old PWD. Paste here, and you will get the same output. So if you are looking for some specific variable inside this, you can get it, right? Similar to that, uh, you have a command like id in Linux, right? To get a UID or GID of your system. With OS module, you have OS dot get uid and without any surprise os dot get gid to get the group id okay now once again let me run the command called list dir okay so here we have created some directory so let me try to remove this directory os dot and you know in case of linux we have a command like rm so in case of OS module, we have a OS RM DIR to remove the directory. And if we run the OS list DIR after public, the directory is gone. Okay. And again, uh, if you remember, we have created a directory called test1 and test2 recursively. So in case, let me try to remove those directory now. Try to run test1. And you see that we straight for immediately we get this OS error directly not empty test one. So if you want to remove a directory uh, where you have uh, a file inside it or directory inside it, you need to use something called remove does. Remove does. Oh, it's weird. 
test one, test two. Yeah, now it's done. So you need to specify the whole path. Okay. And the last thing I want to show you, let's say this guy. Okay. So we have created a file somewhere called test file by OS module. If I want to rename it, I can do it with the help of os.rename the source right comma space okay and you see that the file is renamed okay i don't want to create the long video uh, regarding this os module so i'm breaking it at this point and let's continue about os module in the next video so thanks for watching this video see you in the next video thanks